Hello, my name is Victoria Thomas. Today, I will be talking about sustainable water purification practices. Learning objectives for today, we are going to discuss the Clean Water Act and Drinking Water Act, understand the importance of clean, safe water, identify effective water safety management, and how to incorporate them in a crisis response. Discover methods to conserve and purify clean, safe water. Now, we're gonna go over some background information, which we're gonna get into the clean water history. Now, the Clean Water Act was passed by Congress in 1972. It established a structure of regulating discharges of pollutant into the waters of the United States and regulating quality standards for surface water. Which according to the Environmental Protection Agency, um, and they regulate the Clean Water Act and also the Safe Drinking Water Act, which was passed in 1974 to protect public health by regulating the nation's public drinking supply, protect drinking water and the sources like the Clean Water Act, protecting the river, lake, reservoir, springs, groundwater, wells. Now the um there was a study done by Chase, Hunting and Chase back in 2016 um, about the importance of the clean water. Um, they stated that drinking, that safe drinking water, sanitation and hygiene are fundamental to improve the standard of living, including protection of the health and the environment and improve educational outcomes, greater convenience, dignity and gender equality. I have a video to show, to display about the borders of drinking water and some of the methods, going to introduction about the methods. Physical, chemical, and microbiological impurities from various water sources make water sufficient enough to kill many germs and bacteria, making it safe to consume. Don't get rid of new age contaminants, such as pesticides and other dangerous chemicals, way for water sources. That's why it's crucial to understand families drinking water safe. Water filters which can cause diseases and poor health. Here are some of the reasons to filter your water. Filtering water can result in not only better tasting, but also better smelling water by removing chemicals, pesticides, chlorine, bacterial contaminants, and heavy metals. Point of use water treatment filters remove a wide range of contaminants from drinking water, including chlorine, chemicals, and up to 240 other volatile organic compounds. 
research has established that water filters the risk of certain cancers, including colon cancer, rectal cancer, and bladder cancer, by rating water of colon. Gastrointestinal disease by more than 30 percent. But for their immune systems, water. They enter the body through drinking water. Drink filtered water leads to general overall well-being and also helps with bottom line given the significance of water is a basic human right your body needs safe drinking water for it very deadly that's why the importance of water filtration is incredibly high Water filtration experts at Select Source Group will be able to help you with anything, ranging from whole house water filtration systems to water softeners to improve the water quality in your home. Now that takes us into our next. Um, topic is the um, four major methods for purifying water. Um, this was an article by Shout South Water in 2018. Um, it listed four methods. We have boiling water, filtration of water, distillation of water, and chlorination of water. So, um, we're gonna go into boiling water as a um, purif purification method. Um, water, you heat water on the stove for about one to three minutes. Um, you will need a metal pot, fill up with water and put it on a stove and you let the water heat for three to one to three minutes. Um, and this is used a time test method and is used to remove contaminants from water. Um, One of the pros for boiling water to purify your water is that you can boil quantities of water at one time, and it requires a few items to do so. Next, we have the water filtration, uh, which is used as chemicals and physical process to purify water and to make it safe for human consumption. Um, the filters, it filters, it filters out debris as much as, as well as bacteria and organization, organisms from drinking water. And it can be um, very small and portable and it can be very large in the system. Um, you see in the video, I'm, it gives you an example of how water filtering from the water source. Next, we have distillation. Um, as you can see in the picture, um, the charter how the water is distillated. Um, it utilizes heat to collect pure water into a vape form. This method um, takes a lot of time, and it, it you cannot distillate large quantities of water. It'd be a little at a time, so it's very time efficient. Very take a lot a lot of time, but it removes bacteria, germs salts and other heavy metals such as lead, mercury, and acetic. Lastly, we have the chlorine, chlorination. Chlorine is the powerful chemical. It's used to kill germs, parasite. Um, we mostly probably use the chlorine when we like bleach, but in another form, it can be used to clean water in tablets or liquid form. Um, and you can buy this at the grocery store or um, Lowe's home stores, and you can put that in the water, um, and it will help. Um, it will kill the germs, parasite, any other disease diseases causing organizations organisms 
found in ground or tap water. Summarized, we went over the Clean Water Act, um, the Safe Water Act. We discussed the four methods to purify water. We went over boiling, filtration, distillation, and chlorination. Here are some of my references. Thank you and have a great day.